This is part one of a three-part series of five comic books you need to get right now. Stay tuned. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And uh, due to some new current events that are going on, I'm going to list. I got a total of 15 comics, but I'm going to break it into three different videos. So it'll start with the least to the most so you may want to make sure you don't skip part two and part three because the comics will get even better as we go. So check these out. These are going to be five comics. So this way uh, the videos aren't too long. So let's get right into it. These are five books I really think you should be getting right now. All right. This one, I was reading some information online and there have been some rumors that even though the Mockingbird show was postponed, they're thinking about still doing it. So this is a book that got hot for a while, and then they said they put it on the back burners. So this book dropped off the face of the earth, and that's the best time to pick up this book. Now, this one is I put first because it's the least likely. There is no guarantee. I mean, they could change their mind again, but I have heard rumors that they are still interested, especially nowadays with all the female characters they're putting out in movies and TV shows. They're going to be considering still doing this TV show. So... This is a CGC 8.5. I paid $28.73 for this book. This is a steal for me. But you could buy this raw for under $25. So pick that one up. It's definitely worth it for the price to take the chance on. All right, next one. If you've heard the rumors about the upcoming Spider-Man movie, this is a character that has been said is going to be in it. Now, this character... They say is not going to be in costume, but that to me means that she's not going to be in costume yet. So this is a comic that is still relatively cheap. It's a book I was telling people for years to get, and now people are going to pay a lot more money. This is Spider-Man. Oh, I'm sorry, Spider-Woman, issue number one. Now, this is her origin, and it's also a little bit of a costume change. So this book, I got, what did I pay for this? $14.57. You're probably going to pay about $25 to $30 at this point, if not more, for a higher grade. But this book still is going to be cheap right now. Because they're saying as of now that Jessica Drew is going to be in the movie, but not in costume. So I think they're going to try and set it up where you're at least introduced to the character at first. And then maybe in part three or another part movie, she will eventually get her powers and hopefully become Spider-Woman. So like I said, I was telling people back in 2015 to get this book. And again, now people are going to pay the price for waiting. So it's still affordable. Get it while you can. Once they show previews and the mainstream people hear about it, forget it. This is a book most people won't be thinking about. And I'm trying to show books that are... Ones you may not think about, which means you could probably get them for good prices. This is Spider-Verse issue number one. This is the 1 in 25 variant. This is the Rodriguez variant. I paid $15 for it back when it came out. But this had to do with the Marvel Secret Wars. And I think because of the fact that it's got Gwen Stacy on the cover, this could be a sleeper. Because, as you know, with the cartoon movie coming out with Miles Morales... It's the intro to the Spider-Verse. So this might be one of those sleeper books that you could pick up for a pretty decent price. And uh, it's going to be hard to get in higher grade because of the all-white background. But if you can find this book under $30, pick it up. I think that one might be a sleeper. All right, two more. And then we are going to continue the series tomorrow and the day after so make sure you stay tuned because the comics are going to get better as we go these are the least ones to get all right so number four this is a book i've talked about before but they're really hitting the rumors now that eternals might be the next kind of guardians of the galaxy movies 
So these are books you absolutely want to get. Now, honorable mention would also be issue number two, which is the first appearance of the Celestials. Uh, that book I don't have yet. But uh, hint, hint, there is one on its way. I got an amazing deal on it. Um, this is another book I was telling people back in 2015 to go and buy. Uh, this one I paid. I didn't write it down, but I know I have not paid more than $15 for this book. This book now is probably going to cost around $40 to $50. I still think that's a bargain because as of now, it's just rumors about the Eternal movies. Nothing has been guaranteed. So you still have plenty of time to pick this book up because I think this has so much more room to grow. All right, so the last one on this part, part one of three, is definitely a book you should get. And I, again, was telling people back in 2015 to get this book because you want to get it before these things come out, not as they're coming out, because now you're going to spend a lot of money on these books. And this is Marvel Now, point one, number one. Now, this is the first f full appearance of the new Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. Now, there's a lot of rumors about what books to get. There's a lot of different versions that say this is the number one. But this one says it's the first full appearance of Miss Marvel, a.k.a. Kamala Khan. Now, the other one to get, which I don't have, which will be an honorable mention on this one, is Miss Marvel, is it, no, I'm sorry, Captain Marvel, issue number 14 which is the cameo appearance of Kamala Khan. So that's her first appearance, but it's a cameo. That's not her full appearance. So this book right now, everybody's going to be looking for 14. To me, I don't think that's going to be the one that you want to get if that's your only choice of comics because it's a cameo. I'd rather get the full appearance. But this is one that's going to be a sleeper. I paid $5.95... Uh, I'm sorry, 85 cents a piece for these back in 2015. I have four copies of them. This book is probably going to be now, because of the announcement, 25, 30, and up. So, again, it still has plenty of room because they said Kevin Feige had an interview. And he was talking about the fact of why they started out with Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel is because Kamala Khan comes into existence because she's a, a fan of Miss Marvel. And becomes Miss Marvel. So you have to do the setup first before that. But he talks about the fact that Kamala Khan's on her way. She didn't say it. He didn't say it specifically. But he made it perfectly clear that it's just a matter of time before Kamala Khan is in a movie. Whether it's her own movie or not, that remains to be seen. But again, this is a book that I told people to get a long time ago. And now you're going to pay the price. So I, especially if you're new. The biggest mistake I see a lot of comic collectors make, especially new ones, is they wait until a book is hot before they buy it. I have shown plenty of books. Now, unfortunately, my old channel was shut down, but the people who followed me from my original We Love Comics channel knows that there's a lot of books now that I've been talking about, like The Edge of Spider-Verse 2, um, The Ultimate Fallout 4, uh, plenty of other books that I've told people years ago, get them before they get announced in movies. And now what's happening is most people waited because it wasn't popular to get at the time. Now that they are popular, everybody's jumping on them. So this book, if you bought it three or four years ago, you would have paid about anywhere from 6 to $10. Now you're going to spend probably 30 to 50 So you're not going to be able to get as many of them, or maybe not in the highest grade that you want. So hopefully you can use that as a learning lesson to get books before everybody else wants them. It's the whole supply and demand thing. So, I don't, like I said, I don't want to make these videos too long. So those are the first five. There's going to be plenty of others. So trust me, the best is yet to come. Part two will be the next day. And then part three, which will be the creme de la creme or creme de la creme, the last five. So make sure you watch part two and part three so you don't miss out on any of these books. So make sure you hit the notification button and also check that you want notifications all the time. So this way you don't miss a video or just check because I do videos at least three times a week. So keep coming to my channel to check. Hit the like button if you like these kind of videos. Leave a comment if you want to recommend other books. Just keep in mind they may be in the other videos. And um, just hit subscribe if you haven't.
Just don't hit the person next to you because that's not nice. And don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise, 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 subscriber shout out. And if you want to be one, be a subscriber and ask for a shout out. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. And yes, one day she will be in a Marvel movie.